do you know to backtest your strategy? Okay, today you will learn. My name is Igor and this is FX Igor YouTube channel and today we will learn everything about strategy tester in MetaTrader account. First thing that you need to do, you need to go to view section and here you need to choose strategy tester. If you choose this, you will see tester window in the bottom of your screen. Now we will learn two things. One thing is to learn how to simulate trading using indicators in MetaTrader. And the second thing is to learn how to backtest your expert advisor in some simple way. Of course, I will not talk about advanced things, about machine learning and other stuff. Today we'll learn just the basic things for beginner traders. So let me start. I choose I choose right now to test, for example, one my of indicators relative strength index trend line indicator. So what I need to do first? First need to know that if you open a, your folder, you need to know that in MQL4 you have an experts folder and you have an indicators folder. In these two folders you keep your indicators and expert advisors. The first thing is to copy your expert advisor or to copy your new indicator here and when you're ready you can go here and backtest your indicator and let me start to do that. First I will choose from the list relative strength index trend line indicator. Next I will go to tools and then I will choose history center. Here you have a mages, forex pairs, shares, spot, gold, silver, a lot of a lot of a lot of various assets, but today I will choose euro dollar. I will choose daily chart to be faster. Okay, I already downloaded. You can download if you didn't. And when you are ready, we can start. So what I do very often, usually I like to have at least 20 years of data because if you have a long term and a lot of data, then you can test on daily chart and four hour chart and hourly chart and it's a wonderful thing. So let me start with indicator testing. First, here you will choose symbol, euro dollar. Then you can choose the model. What this means? You can choose faster or slower. If you want tick by tick, it will be slow. If you want to, to test some instrument after candle close, you can choose open price only. I will use that. I use only open or prices only and every tick because ContraPoint is very, very inaccurate um, way of testing, so I avoid that. Now, spread, you can choose current, you can put some other spread. I like current spread to make some kind of live environment. Period, I choose daily. You can put the time span from date to date, it's very easy. You can use a visual mode, always choose visual mode. In that case, you will see and you will be able to backtest your indicator because you will see screen. If you don't choose visual mode, you will not see the screen and it's very important to be checked. Here I can control how fast is tracker, how fast will move on my screen. You will see later and this is everything. So let me start. I will choose press start and now we have a chart and we will soon start to watch what's happened. But the first thing I will pause. Why I, I will pause? Because when you test some indicator and create a strategy in your head, the first thing that you should do, you should pick one, two, three indicator that you want to use and put it on the chart. Right now I will put, we have a relative strength index trend line indicator. This indicator 
uh, works analyze relative strength index as an indicator and try to find a divergence. So this indicator track divergence in relative strength index. If it see bearish divergence, it's a signal for sell. If you see the bullish divergence, it's a signal to buy. Of course, alone, if you use this indicator, it's not good. So, for example, you can add Bulliger Bands. Yes, Bulliger Bands. Now we have a Bulliger Bands. You can add some other. This is just testing. And now we just press and we can watch what's happened. So, for example, I'm waiting, waiting, watch what's happened. I'm waiting, I'm monitor. You, I can little bit speed a little bit to be faster. I can speed a little more. Now it's more faster. Okay. I can speed a little more to be more faster. And monitor what happened. Of course, this signal is very rare because this is the divergence on daily chart. So we need to wait to see anything. And we go day by day. Now we are very, very slow. So like this. Never mind. Nevertheless, so you can watch and watch and you monitor everything that you like. And you can come in, make combination for various, various strategies. And you can analyze each of them. You can analyze indicator. You can watch the current prices and your indicator in different environment. And this is the nice thing for traders to use. Of course, this is the indicator testing or it's a, some kind of a trading simulation. So you watch current price and make some decisions, test indicators, etc., etc. But most people use this strategy tester to test expert advisor. So now we'll go to expert advisor and I will choose, for example, this weekly pullback expert advisor, some advisor that I create. It works based on a pullback. So I wait the price go down, then I see rising trend and enter into trade, something like that. Um, I have a hundreds and hundreds of indicators, but I develop indicators using machine learning. I do not use um, um, just um, methods that are not uh, that not use statistics, but we will talk later about that um, in some other video. Now we will concentrate and watch what will happen when we test this strategy. So the procedure is the same. I just put like this. I can change like this, and uh, we can watch this strategy uh, what's happened here for example we can watch the first trade is created in results we see the first trade is not profitable and we can monitor other trades right now this strategy use i think three four indicators it's robust it's not it's not so complicated but it uses some some um, um, some mathematical formulas that maybe are not so common never mind as you can see now we have uh, more and more trades we can monitor here in results in settings we can see this picture this is in results we can watch a graph here you can see how this system works I started from the year 2014 and now I monitor more and more to see what will happen in the future. And of course, I can stop this system right now and then I can go to report and in the report I see the total net profit is 34.79. Uh, I see the profit factor is 2.78, and cetera, and cetera. I can see um, a lot of information 
about this strategy. So uh, this is the way how we can test expert advisor. This is the way how we can test indicators, how we can simulate trading and in the same time simulate expert advisor in a real environment. Um, the, the, actually, what is the most important thing? My advice is when you backtest expert advisor, the first rule is to try to, to take a wider time span. For example, I like 20 years. Uh, even you test a 15 minute strategy, one hour strategy, never, never mind. Sometimes I remember I, I had a 100,000 trades one time and I have a huge amount of data and then I try to filter that strategy to to have less trades and a better accuracy and it's a it's a real science to do that and one day we will talk about that but never mind uh, this is the first rule the time span need to be like that if you create simulation for stocks it's a very very important to find period when stocks are down for example you can test your system when, when you have a several months of a bearish trend for all stocks some problem on the market for example and then you will see how your uh, strategy and how your expert advisor deals with that uh, is it uh, robust it, it is it uh, um, good enough to to overcome this bad period etc etc because uh, if you use your expert advisor and you test you need to test the bad moments it's very very important not just uh, when you see when you see a profit oh this is cool now usually all expert advisors in all your systems that you have if you risk if you risk one dollar and try to achieve one dollar it will be around the 50 percent winning rate so you can you can create 52 54 55 but you cannot have a 80 percent 90 percent uh accurate accuracy in trading either stocks either inner forex or anything else of course when you add fundamental analysis and maybe long-term trade trades you will be you will have much higher accuracy of course in the long long term but it's up to you to choose. But do not think that you can develop a system that, that can be highly accurate or something like that because market uh, has some high, high degree of efficiency and it's very tough to conquer the market. And there is a lot of proprietary softwares. There is a lot of proprietary companies and a lot of players in the market. And all of them, they know math, they know everything and they use this to, to, to trade. So this is it. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.